This is shuttle launch control at T-minus two hours, five minutes, and holding. At the present time, the uh, closeout crew has finished removing the foam uh, plastic covers which cover up the hatchway and some of the other uh, hardware around the door area leading into the orbiter. These are protective coverings uh, which are used during the period that the orbiter is just in a benign state in between uh, a launch attempt. It's to provide for uh, not having any damage occur to uh, any of the areas up there. They do have the platform in place which is used by the astronauts to uh, crawl through the hatchway on their hands and knees. The hatchway is very, really quite small, uh, just about uh, three foot in diameter. And they are prepared now for uh, closing that door at the time they have removed that uh, little walkway. Uh, there is also a uh, about eight or nine inch diameter air hose which flows uh, air into the cabin area to ensure that the proper mixture of breathing air is present. At the present time, the astronauts are still in the breakfast room at the astronaut quarters. Uh, they're having their breakfast of steak, eggs, orange juice, coffee, and uh, they will stay in that uh, breakfast room until there has been a go for suiting uh, from the launch director here in the launch control center. Everything going very smoothly in all areas of preparation for this morning's launch. The countdown at T minus two hours, five minutes, and holding. This is shuttle launch control.
Stand by 30 seconds. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus two hours, five minutes, and holding. This is a planned build-in hold with approximately one hour and five minutes remaining in it. At the pad, the closeout crew is making good progress in preparations for the uh, astronauts to enter, and a go has been given for them to move to the suiting room. John Young and Bob Crippen are walking out of the breakfast area now on their way to the suiting room. The first thing that they'll be doing will be to have the biomedical sensors attached. They're looking very fit. Uh, a big smile on the face of Bob Crippen. John Young, who doesn't smile quite as much, uh, does look quite happy to be moving into this phase of the preparations for the launch. They'll be uh, having their biomedical sensors attached and then putting on their pressure suits and waiting for a go to move to the pad from Launch Director George Page. At the present time, everything going very smoothly in the countdown, looking for a liftoff on time at 7 a.m. this morning. This is Shuttle Launch Control. Stand by 30 seconds. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus two hours, five minutes, and holding. At the present time, everything going very smoothly. Here in the firing room, there are a number of people uh, sitting behind the many consoles in several rows, uh, keeping track of what's happening with the various elements of the launch vehicle during the countdown. This is something which will disappear during the, uh, after the first few flights. On the Apollo launches, there were more than 500 people who were monitoring the various aspects of the vehicle systems.